Oh man. <laughs> what what are you going to do? I mean, how do you how do you replace that and <laughs> how do you do that and get back to another uh, national championship game? Yeah, recruit. You go recruiting. Uh, I mean, that's that's what you do. You you, you don't sit around and pout about it. Uh, that's just the nature of college football. You know, I think that's what makes college football so exciting and so much fun and and uh, it's different. You know, guys, there's change every year. It's a new team and. Um, you know, we, we, when Taj Boyd was gone, it was, how are you going to replace Taj Boyd? Well, we went and got a guy named Deshaun Watson, and he did okay. Uh, when Vic Beasley left, oh, my God, well, how are you going to replace Vic Beasley? Well, we got a guy named Cleland Furl. He did all right last year. Nobody knew about him this time last year. How are you going to replace Grady Jarrett? Well, we went and got a Christian Wilkins. You know, you just you go recruit, and then you develop your players. And I think that's probably one of the things that we do best is we develop our players um, and so when guys get their opportunity they're prepared and I can I can give you example after example after example you know whether it was a Kevin Dodd a guy like that or a Vic Beasley who developed and as a redshirt junior becomes a starter for the first time uh, you know so we we prepare those guys that's why you know Wayne Gallman's gone to the Giants now uh, but we've got three good backs that are ready. And uh, we, we, we lost Leggett, uh, and Leggett was a mainstay for us. But we've got good tight ends, and uh, we lost Mike Williams. Uh, but we got some pretty good players coming back. I've got a guy named Deion Kane that's played at a high level for us. It's, it's kind of his time, and so it's just next man up. Uh, and if you recruit well and you develop well, then you can sustain consist consistency, which is really what we're trying to do, is just be a consistently competitive program that's in position to compete for this conference. Because if we can compete for this conference year in and year out, hey, we're going, we're going to have those years where we, where we get it done. Uh, and uh, so I love our roster. I love the fact that, that, you, that you make a comment like that because that's fuel. That's that edge that some of those guys need. You know, nobody's asking me about Deion Kane yet. It's one of the best receivers in the country. He's had unbelievable moments. Not one word. We're talking about a guy that's gone, and I'm focused on the guys that are here. And uh, so um, I think we've got – it's a very fair question because it's a lot of production. I think that's the natural thing to do is you just look at a piece of paper and you say, wow. You know, and you don't know these guys, but come midseason, you're going to know a lot of these guys. Uh, and by the end of the season, uh, we're, gonna be, we're not going to be talking about all those guys that aren't here anymore. If we are, we're going to be talking about how good they're doing at the next level. Uh, because we've got good players that are ready to emerge. And, you know, uh, we'll be a team that's led in the trenches. We've got uh, everybody back in the offensive line except one guy. We've got our, all of our starters back up front except Carlos. Uh, so we'll be, uh, we'll be all right. We'll be just fine. Coach, thank you. Okay, thank you, guys.